some persons have higher blood pressure when recorded in the hospital setting than when recorded at home this has been called white coat syndrome white coat defect and white coat hypertension white coat syndrome is thought to be due to the anxiety of the person in the hospital setting elevating the blood pressure the name has its origin from the white coat worn by medical personnel at the hospital though it was thought to be a benign condition now there is a view that they also have some risk of cardiovascular disease like those with persistent high blood pressure both at home and hospital white coat syndrome is identified when the hospital recording is high but blood pressure measured at home by a relative is found to be normal another reason when it is suspected is that a person with persistently high blood pressure while attending the hospital is not having any target organ damage target organs for hypertension are usually the heart brain and kidneys an old saying was that the pump may fail pipes may break and the filter may leak it was meant that the heart which pumps blood may fail if the blood pressure is very high pipes may break meant that small blood vessels especially in the brain may break resulting in a bleed and a stroke due to damage to surrounding brain tissue filter may leak meant that the kidneys may start leaking proteins when they are damaged by hypertension blood vessels of the eyes can also be damaged by hypertension there is a reverse condition to white coat hypertension that is masked hypertension with normal values being recorded in the hospital while high values are recorded several times outside the hospital masked hypertension also carries same risk as persistent hypertension an important test in both these conditions is an ambulatory 24 hour blood pressure monitoring this will give estimates of average daytime blood pressure and average nighttime blood pressure studies have shown that target organ damage and associated risks are dependent on the average blood pressure rather than on casual recordings normal persons have lower blood pressure at night than during day those who do not have this normal fall during sleep are called non dippers non dippers are also thought to have a higher risk compared to the normal dippers while recording blood pressure it is recommended that the subject should have taken rest for about 20 to 30 minutes prior to the recording this is because exercise normally increases blood pressure in all individuals whenever a high blood pressure is noted a repeat measurement is taken after some time to be sure that it was not transient elevation due to anticipatory anxiety or a blood pressure which had risen while walking usually it is noted that the repeat measurement is lower especially if it is taken after a bit of relaxation caffeinated drinks are avoided for at least 30 minutes prior to the recording thank you for watching this video please subscribe like share and post your valuable comment below this video kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates